and if not more. And this is this is just uh, unheard of. It blows my mind because aluminum d has no place in our body. It's a known neurotoxin. It's a heavy metal. It's incredibly difficult to detox from. And we're injecting these into the bloodstream. So it goes straight to the vital organs. It's not like when you ingest something and 60% of it is filtered out through, uh, through the kidney and it, the natural detox process. Wow. It goes straight to vital organs. And this is happening on day one. So it's not surprising that the U.S. leads the developed world in infant mortality rates and day one mortality rates. And we, right. think, we seem to think that we have you know, the best healthcare protocol in the world. And you're not seeing these type of things in other countries. And people need to start questioning this because what I've really learned doing my research is this is all about profit. It's right. not about our health. I mean, how can we believe that it's about our health when we have the sickest children? We have the sickest generation of children in our country at the moment. Right. You know, things like peanut allergies, peanuts are no longer allowed in schools. You know, all the food allergies, the gut issues, the autoimmune diseases, all of these things that I mentioned. I mean, they're at, that is the true epidemic in our country mm -hmm. are those diseases and that childhood um, level of poor health that we have. Right. And the cognitive so, dissonance of the American people to just continue on and say, well, the doctor says it's right. safe and effective. I've got to go ahead and, you know, just do what the doctor says. And you pointed out as well how uh, there isn't really any testing. And so right. in these other countries, they don't have the big pharma weighing down on the doctors, whereas we do here. Right. And I think that that's a really important point um, is that as a pharmaceutical sales rep, you are, we heard all about the gold standard level of safety testing that goes into pharma drugs, right? Long-term, double-blind, placebo-based studies. And because vaccines are not classified as a pharmaceutical drug, even though they clearly are, and they're actually more dangerous because you're injecting them versus ingestion, um, they, they don't go under this, they don't undergo the same level of safety testing as normal pharmaceutical drugs. Wow. And so there are no long-term studies. There are no studies where they're... Um, studied in combination with other vaccines and we're give, giving babies six to nine, sometimes more doses of vaccines per baby visit, which is unheard of in any other country. And they don't have real placebo-based controls, which is so very important because what you're seeing, and one of the things I, I'm gonna go into later in the segment is like say the Gardasil vaccine, their placebo-based safety um, study, only 300 were actually on a saline-based placebo out of 18,000 in the study. And what most of the control group was given was a straight aluminum shot. That is the most toxic adjuvant in, in Gardasil. So they're so, saying based on uh, yeah. this really toxicity, right. it's fine, it's completely safe and exactly. effective. So I, and, I wanna hear more about that in the next segment. Right. Um, I think this is just some really key bombshell uh, information that we're getting. So stick around right after this very short break. We're going to find out what's really driving this campaign for mandatory vaccinations. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car I'll run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Welcome back. I'm here with Brandy Vaughn, the founder of Council for Vaccine Safety. Now, let's get right back into this. They're telling us this is all for our health, that this is the big push of the mandatory vaccinations. What's really going on behind the scenes? Right. I think it's interesting because what you're hearing is that vaccines aren't profitable. This is this is about public health. There are going to be huge outbreaks of infectious disease if we don't have more and more and more and more vaccinations. And we're not seeing this in the rest of the developed world, which has a much um, less vac lower vaccine schedule than we do. So what did happen? Well, I'm going to tell you, vaccines became profitable. With the 1986 National Childhood Vaccine Act, uh, vaccine makers lost all liability. So right. in, in the U.S., one way we can push back against corporations running the government and running our lives is we can sue if we're injured or um heaven forbid, we die from something, a product. And during that judicial process, which is in our constitution for a reason, it goes through a discovery process and a lot of information about the, the real safety testing that was done and things like that. That's where that information comes out. And when the federal government gave vaccine makers complete liability protection in 1986, and then again in 2011, um, vaccines became profitable because all of a sudden you're looking at a pharmaceutical drug market, which is completely saturated. There's competition in every disease category. They have to spend a lot on marketing to, to win out over the competition. Um, you have much um, more rigorous safety testing for pharmaceutical drugs that you don't have with vaccines because they're classified differently. Um, so you have smaller subsets of st study population and they're not long-term studies. They can be fast-tracked to market. Vaccines are regularly fast-tracked to market through the FDA and you have no liability. So all of these things that, you know, kind of keep pharmaceuticals in check in the pharmaceutical drug market, which still is not very good because we saw Vioxx, you know, yeah. get pulled from the market, killed many people. Merck knew about it before they even took it off the market. But still, there are some hurdles and there's some regulation still a little bit there. But with vaccines, you have hardly any regulation. Right. And so they become very much more profitable. In fact, the, um, the, pro the revenue off of vaccines is much higher um, than regular pharmaceutical drugs. 
So what else we're looking at is that there's a huge market for vaccines. We have a, a lot of disease states that they're now looking um, to profit off of with vaccines. Right. So there's almost 300 vaccines in de under development right now. And we're seeing a lot for adult issues as well. Yeah. So we have a complete untapped adult market as well. CDC says that 85 to 90 percent of adults are not up to date on their boosters. Right. So technically we're unvaccinated and we're not seeing these huge epidemic outbreaks that they say we would. Um, but what a great market mm -hmm. for uh, the pharmaceutical companies. So now they're switching gears and looking to step up mandatory vaccination because they know that people, especially adults, are not going to go out and get their shots, you know, just based off marketing. They need a little more impetus. So they're doing mandatory vaccines. And like I said, there's there's some scary stuff coming up on the market um, with in terms of vaccines, like ones for HIV, for anthrax cancer, things that I don't want in my body, dead or alive. I don't want that virus in my body at right. all, especially with the adjuvants and the toxin, the neurotoxins and, and, you know, the carcinogens that are actually additives to the vaccine shots as well. So one thing as they move into this to vaccines and look to, for growth in profit growth through there and shareholder profits, um, you can see that they're really stepping up the campaign for vaccinations. And the one of the main ones driving this is the HPV vaccine. Mm. So Merck had Vioxx that was pulled off the market, right? So in the industry, we call the HPV vaccine the have to pay for Vioxx vaccine wow. because the, the one that has the majority of the market is uh, Gardasil and right. it's made by, made by Merck. And they got it now, boys and girls can. And so Merck made Gardasil um, $135 a dose. And there's three doses in within six months for boys and girls, nine to all ages, nine to 26. Right. And so this is far more expensive than any other childhood vaccine. So they're really making a huge amount of profit off of Gardasil. And it's coming at the expense of our kids because aluminum, the aluminum content in Gardasil is one of the highest. And you're giving three doses back to back within six right. months. So we're seeing huge injuries and deaths with the Gardasil vaccine. In fact, a lot of countries in the world are taking it off uh, the market. Japan is actively not recommending it after a government investigation into injuries and deaths. And uh, in the Philippines as well, they're investigating it. The EU just announced a new investigation into the HP vaccine, HPV vaccine into Gardasil after a great documentary came out of Denmark that really exposed what was going on there. Um, and one of um, one of the great quotes off that documentary is from one of the doctors that actually led the Gardasil trials in Denmark for Merck. And it's actually, you can find it in the insert, you reference to Denmark trials. And it's a Dr. Jesper Melson. And he says he ran the investigations into the vaccine when the government ordered those. And he says a realistic, a realistic estimate is that one in 500 girls vaccinated experiences serious side effects. And we're talking life changing side effects. We're talking women in wheelchairs. We're talking death. We're talking paralysis. We're talking muscle pain that never goes away. Right. And Rob Dew, when I just uh, did the radio interview, he mentioned there's a video on YouTube of um, girls after a school campaign for the HPV vaccine right. and they're just writhing in pain. Right. And if you see this kind of injuries and people are, and they, they actually protested in the streets, this is not okay. You did not tell us what's in this vaccine. You did not tell us the risk of injury right. here. And we're not being given the, the information that we need to make a real choice. One, yeah, of the, and one in 500 girls, I mean, that's like the size of a small school. So one person in the school and they're forcing this on everyone. So right. one person in your school, one girl is could be wheelchair bound for life or could right. go into pre-menopause, never be able to have children of her own right. because of uh, an HPV shot, which uh, there's so many different strains of it. And we've done studies on this. It actually can increase your chances of getting other forms of HPV, other strains of right. it. And I mean, it's just, it's your body, if, as long as you are, are healthy, um, can usually clear it. Right. 90% of, of cases of HPV clear up completely on their own without any repercussions Symptoms and, and other ones are um, the majority are treatable. Wow. So in doing more research into HPV, what I realized is 
So the World Health Organization says one, your risk of getting cervical cancer is one in 40,000, which already is very, very small and very small compared to uh, one in 500, you know, serious reactions. And yet what they what they don't tell you is 88 percent of all cervical cancer cases are in third world countries. So only 12 percent of all of those cases are in the in developed world, not even just in the U.S., in the entire developed world.